So today we're looking at the KNA UP2 or UP2. This is the contact piezo pickup for acoustic instruments. And the unique thing about this one is that it has a volume control built right onto the pickup. So these are very affordable and very convenient. There's no um, installation required. You just simply put some putty on the back or, or a two-way sticky pad and you put it on your guitar. And we can talk about um, ways to protect your finish, but, but basically you just take it, put it on, plug it into your amp and you're good to go. So affordable, um, very sleek, simple design, no installation. And uh, the, the inclusion of the volume control is an essential aspect for playing, for playing gigs, especially casual gigs. Make sure to check out the full review for all my pros and cons of the product and, and more specs and things like that, as well as links to other products and, and comparisons and all of those things, as well as products to protect your finish. If you own a very high-end guitar with French polish, for example, you're probably not gonna want to put you know, putty right on your guitar, but with um, static cling material, you can just put it on the cling material and it won't affect your finish. So make sure to check out the full review for links to those, to those products. So let's take a, a, a closer look at the product and unboxing it, and then we'll just do a little demo and I'll also talk about what I think of the product. And here is the actual pickup itself. Very simple, looks pretty good. It's wood, so it's super light. I already have the putty on the back because I was just testing it out. It also comes with these two-way sticky pads, so you could put these right on the static cling wrap or on your guitar, but I would recommend you probably use protection if you're going to use the two-way stick adhesive material. Good thing about this is the volume control, so you can just turn it back and forth. That's it. There's just it's a real simple design, so there's not much to really discuss in this particular case. Plug it in and you're good to go. So we'll do a little sound demo, but just remember like I don't have much faith in uh, doing like actual sound reviews of products like this because really what's happening here is we're going to we're going to go through this and then into my amp, and then into my microphones, into my sound card, into my computer, processed into your computer and through your speakers. So it's, it can't be an accurate description of the sound, but nevertheless, I will, I will give you a demo, and I'll also just I'll, I'll talk a little bit about, about how, how I think it sounds. I'll test the product in two different ways. One, through my microphones here, and give you a test of what my guitar sounds like, what this sounds like through the amp, and then what this sounds like right into my, uh, my sound interface. So I have two small condenser microphones kind of pointing out. They're about two feet back from me. And here's an example of just what my guitar itself sounds like with no amplification. So I have the microphone placed here. It's plugged into my Roland amp. I have the bass turned down on the amp a little bit and the middle turned down a fair amount and then the treble is pretty much right in the middle there. Um, just reducing that bass just helps a little bit with the amp. So I'm, at, I'm just going to leave the frame and you'll just be hearing the amp.
So because with all the technology, it's not always easy to hear um, what the sound is like, I'll just tell you, it sounds pretty good. Like for a piezo pickup, it sounds really great. And the ease of install is just uh, is amazing. So it's, it's very clean sounding compared to some of the other piezo pick, pickups I've tried. And I think the sound is, is pretty good. Like for casual gigs, like weddings or cocktail parties and things like that, where I'm just showing up and plugging in and playing, people are talking, this is, this is plenty good and it's it's very silent overall. There's a, you know, you can get some some hum sometimes, but like in general, it's extremely silent. And there's no like effects from like sounds around it because it's not a mic, it's just picking up the vibrations of the wood. In terms of like how sensitive it is to other sounds, it's actually pretty decent. Like hitting the guitar is not so bad. If you actually touch the mic itself, you get quite a bit of um, um, contact sound. So, but as long as you're not touching the actual mic itself, it, it's pretty minimal. It's, it's better than most, I would say. If the chord hits the guitar, it's it's fairly loud as well. So you just want to make sure that you, you hook it up so that it's pointing in a direction that's kind of away, and then just make sure that your, your guitar angle is steep enough that the chord's not going to bounce on top of the guitar, because that will make a sound. But that's common of all of these contact piezos. So, of course, the main advantage is the volume control on this. And then it just, it just completely gets rid of the sound. So it, when you're in a gig and your mic is a little ways away, if I want to be silent suddenly, I can just turn this straight down and I'm silent. No sound from me at all, which is essential for casual gigs. People are making speeches. They want you to stop and, and they just want the musician to be absolutely quiet for a moment. Uh, before getting back and so I don't want to get up and walk to my amp so this is great I just the volume control is right there on my guitar and it's just so it's just so easy to do adjusting the position of the pickup on the guitar putting it in different places really does change the sound I find near the bridge like this is is pretty good um, it balances it out to some extent but you'll always want to tweak it on your amp as well most of the time with classical guitar the bass is quite amplified so I just turn down the bass on the amp a little bit but um, the lightweight construction of it means it stays on pretty decently. Um, I'm using the, the static cling wrap there to protect my guitar from the putty, so uh, I would recommend doing that as well. But if you have just a normal guitar like on my Cordoba guitar with a lacquer finish, I just I just stick it on. I don't I, it it doesn't damage it at all. But with a French polish, I always like to to protect it a little bit. The truth is, for the money, for the affordability, and the ease of installation, and how and for how good it sounds, it's really one of the best miking options that you can that you can buy. I even bring it as a backup when I use more complicated or more fancy um, or more expensive microphone systems, because it's um, it's a great backup as well. There's nothing that can really go go wrong with the product. So. I really highly recommend it. I think it's a great product and um, for, for its class and for its suitability for certain situations and just the, the ease of, of use.